Hey stars, it's your girl Kristen and I am back with another video. So I wanted to start this week's vlog off early because I've been doing kind of a bad job of, of starting earlier in the week. So today's Monday, it's lunchtime. I'm actually picking up some Wendy's for the kids because they are on lunch. I also put my wig on today so I'm on a different unit. This is a, a really, really old unit and I bust this thing out because my hair is still braided and I took off the other one because it was starting to look a little dusty. And I really like this. I like the look. I love how easy it was. Oh my gosh, I laid the lace down pretty good. I don't feel like I finessed the baby hairs quite like I would like to or would have liked to, but overall I'm like really liking this look. So I'm definitely gonna be playing with more wigs. If you guys have ideas or looks or wigs you love and would love to see, just definitely let me know. But I think this one is from RPG Wig Show, if I'm not mistaken. And the quality of this one's probably one of the best wigs I've ever had just because the hair is so, so good. But I'm about to start driving, the light just turned green. So welcome to today's video. If you haven't already, put a star in the comment section. And if you're a newbie, subscribe, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. It is, what time is it? It's seven o'clock. Ooh, it's bright too. Seven o'clock and it's after work. And I am, I think, I think I need to do something to finesse this wig a little more. <laughs> but no how are you guys doing how is everybody holding up out there in youtube land i like this week i don't know it's just something today i just feel kind of not in the best mood so i want to do something to like get myself in a better mood maybe i need to listen to my confidence playlist because i think that actually does put me in a really good mood some music something but the twins are about to be picked up by their dad he'll be here in like i think like 30 minutes and then I need to figure out what we're doing for dinner because I haven't cooked again. I actually haven't cooked in a minute. It's been a few days. I think I cooked yesterday, made uh, lunch slash dinner. But other than that, like I've been slacking. So I think I'm gonna have to figure out what we're about to do for dinner and find something relaxing to do. I actually tomorrow have my second study visit. So I have to drive to Columbus tomorrow. And then I think there's a pretty big break, if I'm not mistaken, between this visit and the next one that I'll go to. But I'm also gonna go visit Arius when I go down there because it's Arius's, um, just past his birthday. So his birthday was a week ago on the 19th. So my baby is 21 now. He's a grown adult, which is crazy. I can't believe 21 years ago I had Arius. It just blows my mind when I think about it. So <clears throat> I will be vlogging that. We'll be sharing with you guys my whole uh, at least experience going down there. I do want to also go to Ikea when I get down there. I won't probably vlog the actual doctor's appointment because I don't think I can, but um, I will be vlogging, you know, while I'm down there in Ohio and all that good stuff. So with that, hopefully I can finesse this wig a little bit better than I have so far, but I really like it. And this is, this wig is so old. I just, it just trips me out, but it's like so old, but soft and it's held itself up pretty well over the years. And these glasses, y'all, these are the Yes glasses that I was telling y'all about a few days ago on my um, main channel that came out on Monday or today. And no, I actually didn't post it today. So it's coming out soon. I don't know when it's coming out actually. But the video, I talked about these glasses and I love them. So I've been wearing them like every single day since I got them. So anywho, I guess I'm gonna figure out dinner, but I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys for a hot second and check in, you know all that good stuff i'm in columbus y'all visiting areas before i go back it's been a long day i got stuff all over my shirt <laughs> look crazy hey y'all i'm back home and i just kind of wanted to tell you about something that i was working on last night um, but before I do, it's so crazy. I got that shot earlier and my arm hurts so bad. It feels like somebody punched me so hard in my arm. I still kind of think I had placebo, but I'm not going to lie. I feel so tired and just kind of like run down right now, if that makes sense. So I know a lot of times when you get a vaccine, you typically will feel kind of like fatigued or potentially sleepy. And that's super normal. So then there's a part of me that's kind of like, well, maybe I did get the actual vaccine. But <laughs> I guess I'll find out soon enough. However, 
I did want to tell you about something because the reason why I brought up the fact that I am sleepy is it might actually just kind of be because last night I was up so late. Lola woke up in the middle of the night. She kind of does this sometimes where she'll get up in the middle of the night, want to go outside. And Brian had got up to let her out. So I heard Brian getting up to let her out and it woke me up. So I couldn't get back to sleep. I got on my phone and I start writing out some stuff for the channel. And I was just so inspired. I felt like if I was going to be up instead of looking at social media or doing something that was going to be non-value add, I could do something that was going to actually be helpful for me, helpful for my channel, something I really had felt like I wanted to do for some time. So I ended up turning on an old video from a long time ago. And this video was basically me sharing my income journey and it motivated me to redo some of my old videos because I at first was thinking it doesn't make sense to redo old content because I already have the video on my channel but once I watched the video I just realized there's so much perspective that I have now as compared to when I first started back long time ago when I used to do money Mondays mentorship Mondays those of you who are like OGs on the channel, y'all remember those days. And I was listening to the content back then and it was just so good. It was so good, it was so inspiring. And it really makes me want to do it again. So I know where I want my channel to go. I feel like I've slowly been going to that place. I've been transitioning. You guys may or may not have been able to tell this, but I looked at the videos, went through, got some inspiration and I wrote down a list of 10 videos I want to do. So basically we're going to be doing Mentorship Mondays again. It's kind of like Mentorship Mondays revamped. I had the slogan, which I don't know if I'm going to use it, but basically the slogan, here it is. Okay, so basically I said the series or the days I want to have on my channel, I'm going to do Fridays, Sunday, Fridays, Sundays and Mondays. So I want to have the gap between Friday and Mon and Sunday, but then I'm going to have the video on Monday, the Money Mondays, because I used to do that back in the day. I'd have my like lifestyle, clothing haul, stuff like that would be on Sunday, and then I'd have the mentorship videos on Monday, and it worked out pretty nicely. Monday actually is a pretty big social media day. I think Monday at 5 p.m. So I'm going to do that. The slogan I had was, it's not tea, it's coffee. And I like that because I basically am just envisioning having myself like sitting there having coffee, having it feel like a conversation between two people but where I'm just dropping gems and I'm just kind of going through things that I want to explain in the series. I've got 10 videos and I'm not going to share all the videos because I don't want to like give up all the details right off the bat. But I've got 10 videos. Some of these videos I've done before, some of them I haven't. But I think this stuff is going to be super helpful. I feel like I'm like so far down. But yeah, I feel like this stuff is going to be super helpful. Some good conversation. I'm so excited. I actually already wrote out one of the videos, which is the MBA versus PMP. I've talked about doing this video so many times on my channel, so I'm finally going to do it. I have all of my notes written now. I have so many notes because I think there's some very distinct differences of the benefits between the two. So I'm just geeked, long story short. I'm excited. It's amazing what you can get done at 4 a.m. Like when you read the notes and you see when I started. At 3.36 a.m., I was actually filing a report with Facebook to have some content taken down. If you've seen, recently seen these videos, like happy something, happy face, and they have like a bra, that video is not something I'm collaborated with. So I've actually, I last night, it was three in the morning, 3.36 a.m. I was doing a claim, filing a claim with Facebook to have these videos taken down. I filed a claim for 12 of them. 12 Facebook ads with the same video every single time. So I've taken down a lot of these videos. So I was doing that. I wrote out a blitz I'm going to do on the vlog channel. So basically the vlogs on the main channel are just going to kind of be like a week in my life following me and just following my life and my process and then the videos on the vlog channel will be more structured vlogs like for example if I'm going to an event or I'm going to do something like travel the videos over there will be more specific to like a vlog style that's not just you know showcasing my life of being a career girl slash a youtuber so I kind of want the essence of like the weekly vlog to basically just break down like what is it like to be a career mom, a career woman 
and an influencer and someone who does YouTube. I hate, kind of hate the word influencer, but someone who does social media. And I think that this could be a really interesting perspective because I just want to show the good, the bad, the ugly, the fun, the challenging, you know, all of those things. So that is where my vision is. I feel really, really good about it. And it's amazing how much inspiration you can get when you can't sleep. Like, it's crazy. And Crixus was snoring in my face, but I still managed to get it done nonetheless, okay? <laughs> so anywho, as I mentioned before, I started rambling to you guys and just kind of like breaking down everything. I actually feel so tired. I'm just like, I feel exhausted. I just kind of want to get under the covers, put my hair in my bonnet, wherever my bonnet went. I don't know where I put this bonnet. But put my hair in my bonnet and get my butt ready for bed. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in and I will catch up with you guys to continue the video tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, you guys really quick I wanted to share with you where I got the hair from that you're going to see in the second half of this video it is from you nice and I've been rocking this hair for a few days absolutely have been in love with it and you probably have picked this up because I just keep going on and on about this hair but it's given me the opportunity to experiment with more color because I usually only do some random highlights in my natural hair. But this has given me the chance to play with some more color and have some fun with some length and a different texture. So I have been playing with this. You've probably seen this all over my Instagram because I have a lot of videos and pictures and stuff because I've been wearing the mess out this hair. So I just wanted to let you know I will have all of the information for this hair in the description box in case you want to grab it up for yourself. But in case you were curious, the hair is from You Nice and everything you need if you want to get some for yourself is in the description box. to Ikea we're going to Indianapolis right now we don't have an Ikea in Fort Wayne where we live at but we had we got to go all the way to Indy to check Ikea out <laughs> bless you Ikea is like one of my favorite places to go y'all I love their stores I think it's because the way they set everything up if you haven't been in Ikea it's set up like rooms and as you walk through the maze of the store you get to see all the different setups inspiration stuff like that so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also hoping we can find some good food while we're down there because y'all know Kristen likes to eat. Okay. I think I'm going to actually come up with a series for my cooking, like my cooking videos. And I think I'm going to call it Kristen Eats. I really think that's like the best name for it, which I hate to like, you know, give up the go so soon, but I think I'm going to call it Kristen Eats. I was going to call it Cooking with Kristen. But I think we're going to call it Kristen Eats because I basically think it's going to be around me trying new things, cooking new things with you guys and eating those things because I, I, I eat all the time and I love food and I feel like y'all have started to see this. My mom was like, girl, you're always eating. Why is there always food around? <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. Long story short, but I kind of digress. So anywho, we're about to go ahead and continue this road trip, get our butts down to Ikea and I'm gonna check in with y'all in a little bit.
here that I want you guys, but unfortunately they don't have any in stock. It's really cute and will be perfect in the office. So I'm just gonna have to put a notification on so it can get it when it comes available. Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. Oh, it feels so unreal. We lost all ambition. But where do your claim? With us, nothing moves forward. It just stays the same. Thank you. We just left IKEA and now we're headed to try to find some food. We're gonna try Cheesecake Factory first see if we can eat outside and it's at the mall if you're not familiar with indianapolis the cheesecake factory is connected to the mall and they have like this little outdoor seating area so fingers crossed it's about 4 30 so hopefully it's early enough where we can get a table we can get in there because it sounds really good i'm so hungry uh tear that place up right now <laughs> so y'all it's a two and a half hour wait for cheesecake factory i thought we was about to smash but we're looking at the to-go menu right now so hopefully we can get something to go i personally love their pastas i usually get the um do you remember what it's called what i usually get like the jambalaya or something but i looked at something different today that has like these chicken breasts over the top it looks delicious so i want pasta and are you do you know what what did you say you wanted to be between a burger and some pasta we should have probably just went to top golf huh we still can or we y'all want to go home we're here now don't know how long the wait's going to be when we get there no i know i know so. i'm saying we could always take our food and eat there and then play top golf while we wait you know what i'm saying eat and then wait I know what you're yeah top golf is fine there's a top golf right next to ikea and it's like on the way home from where we are right now we were probably about 20 minutes deeper into indy from where we were so i'm like maybe we could go down there and uh play top golf get a little golf in let me beat brian and amana she can get this work too no. <laughs> and then take our butts home. We gonna turn up? You know this is any good. Well, I never heard of Farfalla. What? It look good. It look good. My mom was looking at Farfalla. I never had that before. But everything I've had there is good though. It's been tasty. Y'all, we literally came all the way down here to Ikea. They didn't have none of the chairs that I wanted to look at. And on the website yesterday, they did. They didn't have none of the kids' desks. Because I wanted to get the twins these desks sold out. They didn't have, what else? They didn't have the um, TV stand I wanted for the twins' room that matches their dressers. Sold out. Everything was sold out. So we came all the way down here. And I checked the website yesterday. And none of it was available. I'm kind of hurt. This was a long drive for nothing to be available. I should have checked this morning before we got on the highway to see if anything was available. But I was not thinking at all. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed. But hey, it is what it is, right? Just had to get online and find, find me something online. But you don't feel the same right. I think about you. irritable everything <laughs> and this dog i let him taste my pasta bad idea because the pasta must be good because he's been down here screaming at me ever since he got a taste lord have mercy what am i gonna do about these dogs y'all i think they have legit become their own like personality on the channel because the last video 
they legit took over the last video. I was just like, really? Like these dogs are just always doing something. And I forget who it was, but one of you guys was saying, put the dogs on here more, P play, you know, just record them too. So I've been doing more of recording and incorporating them for those of you who do like pets and they have not let us down. <laughs> Between Lola being mannish and Crooks being bossy, it is a legit TV show over here. And I really think with us being home more, it's brought out more in their personalities and probably spoiled them a little bit more than they were before we started being home all the time. But I just, I don't know, I feel like they're at this point of spoiledness that we probably cannot come back from and it's probably all my fault. I just succumb to their, you know, the pushing that they do to try to get what they want and I sometimes feel bad because, you know, to eat dog food every day, all day and be stuck in the house and not really have anything to look forward to. Sometimes I feel like food is the one little thing I can do, you know, here and there to make them a little bit excited so well i guess that and sleeping in the bed because they have got their way with sleeping in the bed too so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pause for the evening i do tomorrow i'm gonna open up some stuff that i have received from you guys i have a lot of things i've received and i feel bad that it's taken this long to open everything but i wanted to make sure i opened everything on camera because i know some of you sell the stuff that you have sent to me and i just want to make sure to share it with everybody as well so Thank you guys for your patience and you know i i just want to make sure to to have some time to share things with you and i guess with that i'm going to check in for the evening but i'll see y'all tomorrow hey guys it's sunday so i have a bunch of things that have been mailed to me and i've told you guys about these items a few times so I'm gonna finally go through everything. To those of you who sent me this stuff, thank you so much and sorry for the delay in opening. But I did wanna do this on camera and I wanted to make sure I could do this in a video where I could actually talk about everything. So we're gonna put everything in here and we're gonna talk about it. If there's anything that is offered, I'll put links in the description box if those of you who are watching are interested in like checking anybody out. Let me actually get some scissors, I'll be right back. Okay, I was teasing in the video when I picked everything up that I feel like a real influencer. <laughs> I've never really considered myself an influencer, but when you get packages, it kind of makes you feel like, you know, like somebody special. And I've just never really like done too much on this side of my channel. Like obviously I do promoted videos, but I've never really kind of ventured out there and I get a lot of emails and stuff so I need to start doing better because I love to support especially small businesses those of you who are starting your own thing like I just I love supporting stuff like that so it's always a blessing to get products and stuff from you guys so first of all let's see this this is from Lauren it says hi Kristen I love your videos your business clothes haul give me life as I prepare to redo my wardrobe and dress for my job um I want instead of the job that I have. Oh, it says, and dress for the job I want instead of the job I have. Since you create vlogs fe featuring you cooking, I wanted to send you a bottle of my sweet heat sauce. Ooh, I'm excited about this. It says, if you and your family like, I would be honored to see a video showing how you use it for a meal. Keep being amazing and positive. You're truly an inspiration. Ooh, yes, this is right up my alley. And I think I mentioned it, but I'm about to start Kristen Eat. So we're gonna be doing all kind of food content. I'm ex super excited, I can't wait. I think I'm gonna try to record something today, later on, since I don't have the twins and I have a little bit of free time. So let's, let's check this out. Sweet Heat Original Sauce. You can tell this has got a little heat to it too, because it's got the chili in there, okay. I will definitely be trying this out. Thank you so much, Lauren. And I will put your website in the description box, but the website is www.lbschilibar.com. And all the information will be down below. Thank you so much for thinking to send this to me. And we will definitely be trying this out. I'm gonna have actually Brian put this on some wings and put them on the grill. And then I'm gonna let y'all know what this is hidden for, okay? Okay.
Okay, next, this is from Christian. Christian sent me the aroma thing. I don't even know what exactly you're supposed to call it. I, I'm like having a brain freeze right now. But the thing I always show you guys, oh, the diffuser. The di it's a diffuser. She sent me the diffuser weeks back and I love it. We have two of them. I actually bought a second one after I got the one from her. And I love it. I use it regularly. I just need more fragrances. So that's kind of something I'm going to end up purchasing here real soon. However, she sent me this. Okay. <clears throat> Body Works Mobile Spa. Oh, this is her mobile spa. Oh, let me see. Let me see. This is cute. It says H2O makes my skin glow. This is cute. Okay. Talk about creative. I like this, I like this. She said she was gonna send this to me too. She says, check out our favorite infused water recipes. Blueberry mint, let's see. Blueberry mint, strawberry, orange, and basil. And she has beauty tips on her website as well. So this is Christian's little flyer. But Christian's such a sweetheart. And I just wanna say thank you, boo, for sending me this. This is super cute. I, I love this and I will be using it. Okay, let's crack into the next box. Okay, let's see what's going on. This is so much fun. Like, talk about blessing. Okay, this is tea tree oil foot soap. Ooh, yes, thank you. Wait, is there any information on who sent this to me? This is something cool, but it doesn't say who sent this to me. Hold up. Maybe it's just the company. So this is Foot Cure Tea Tree Oil Foot Soak. I will be using this. I feel like I need to soak my feet right now, <laughs> to be honest, before I redo my toenails. So I will be checking this out. This is the foot soak. And I will put the information, this came from Amazon. So I'll put the information for this down in the description box as well everything will be in the description box you guys if you want to check any of this stuff out but this has epsom salt dead sea salt and pure essential oils and it helps to soak away any foot fungus bacteria soothe your feet and make your feet not itchy so we're gonna try this too i'm all about anything that has to do with soaking rejuvenating all that good stuff so i'm with it and then this product I had spoke with a young lady on email and she was asking to send me this and she was actually asking for my rates and I told her I will use her product for no charge. We're going to try it out. I honestly love supporting small business owners, especially my young ladies who look like me. I, you know, if there's anything I can do, if y'all want to send me your product, definitely don't feel like you got to, um, like you got to pay me. I, I just love sharing and trying new stuff, so I'm not tripping, y'all, okay? <laughs> and she sent me some Hershey's Kisses. I got a couple kisses, okay? Let's open this up. Her company is called Brie Organics. And she sent me her whipped hair butter. Mm, ooh, that smells good. That smells really good. <laughs> No cap. That smells so good. Whoa. Wow, that smells so good. When I take my braids down, I'm going to put this in my hair. This feels like it would be bomb to when you do, like take your hair down and it's like dry to like put this all through your hair and just braid it up like this just kind of feels like something that and it smells so good this almost feels too like you could use this on your skin like not just your hair that smells really lovely like It smells really lovely and I'm definitely, I'm gonna try this when I take my hair down. I uh, probably, what I'm gonna do is like take these braids down, wash my hair, and then I'm gonna like saturate my hair in this stuff and just braid it up because this kind of feels like it will make my hair so happy after it's been in these braids and it's been kind of dried out if that makes sense. So this last box y'all, this comes from 
a sweetheart that follows the channel. Her name is Brown Eyes. I actually talk to Brown Eyes on Instagram. There's a few of you guys I talk to on Instagram all the time. But I talked to her on IG and she had told me she was sending me this box. And I hadn't been down to Warsaw to pick the box up. So it was there for a few days before I could get down there. But I finally made it. And we're going to finally crack into here. She told me she had a really tough time getting everything into the box too. And I can tell, girl, you got this box. You got this box worked out, okay? I see you got everything in here. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. This looks like a care package. First of all, you did not have to do this, okay? Like, girl, this is so cute. So I kind of want y'all to see this, but look at this. It's like a care package. She has so many things in here for me. So let's start with the card. I feel like you're supposed to always start with the card. <laughs> Birthdays are for celebrating the year that's gone by, for enjoying memories and making new ones. Aw. Hi Kristen, you're the most, my most absolute favorite YouTuber. I was so happy when I found your channel. I was thrilled when I found someone that is into the same field as me. I've watched so many of your videos and I admire how you, um, how you juggle a full-time job, a mom of three, two amazing dogs, and the best husband ever. I have to say, shout out to the barbecue master, Brian. <laughs> you have no many times. I went to your channel for inspiration on some of my toughest days. I am so thankful for your friendship. I will always watch you no matter what content you upload. Thank you for accepting my video ideas. It means so much to me. I will never forget the day when you responded to me on Instagram. I couldn't believe a celebrity. I am not a celebrity girl. I'm just a regular schmegula. <laughs> Actually responded back. Thanks again for always being so being positive and leaving little nuggets of info. You are the best. Victoria, keep up the great work because you're making a difference to so many. Take care. Girl, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh, you just made my whole day. I'm about to cry. Oh, so she sent me some golden Oreos. Oh, girl, you did not have to. She sent me some white chocolate truffles. I'm about to tear these up. Girl, this is so sweet. Let's see, this says White Barn. Ooh, okay, hold up. I love anything self-care, and this seems like some self-care type things. Ooh, this is so soft. This reminds me of my makeup remover towel. And there's two of them. Oh, this is so soft. Let's see what this is. Oh, a little shot glass. Birthday girl. Okay, you know me, girl. <laughs> uh, um, I'm so silly. A nail file. Another shot glass, I think. Oh, shoot. Girl, you speaking my language. You already know. You know me. You know if you was here, we have to take a shot. <laughs> it says cheers. Oh, these are cute. They're going right in the cabinet. Um, okay. Oh, she got me some. Oh, thank you. Look, you remember my foot was hurting too. She got me some ankle support, foot and ankle support. Thank you. That's going to get put to use. Look, there's another one. Oh, yeah, she got me two. Thank you. You remembered. Girl. You really thought everything in here out. Oh my goodness. Island Margarita White, ooh, White Barn scented candle. Oh. Mm, that smells so good. It smells like a margar, like literally like an Island Margarita. Girl, you have outdone yourself. <gasps> I love these. I have used this one time and loved it. Ooh. I love this brand too. Oh my gosh. Girl, you have outdone yourself. This is one of the Buzz Balls. Or not Buzz Balls, I said Buzz Ball. <laughs> 
my mind is still on these shots, okay? No, I'm just playing. No, this is one of the um, Fizz Balls. It's a bath bomb. And this is from Soap and Glory. I really like Soap and Glory. If you guys haven't tried Soap and Glory, their stuff is really nice and it smells so good. So I'll be using that. She's got a little book for writing. It says, make it happen. I'm gonna be using that too. Girl, you got so many good things in here. Oh, there's lip gloss. NYX liquid suede and it's called tea and cookies. I'll be trying this too. This matches my outfit today. And then what else is in here? Girl, it's so much stuff. You were not lying when you said it was so many things in this box. Oh my goodness. Like, wow. Oh, you got me a mask. Now I have, uh-oh. And you got me a mask too. Thank you. <laughs> Girl, you thought of everything. Oh, some Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And it was so thoughtful you put the stuff that's like in the things that could, could actually uh, spill. You put them in little baggies. You're like so thoughtful. I love this stuff. This is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Bomb. Oh, purifying cloths. Ooh. And this is from Soap and Glory Purifying Cloths, y'all. Birthday girl. <laughs> and then she got me a, a birthday box from Soap and Glory. And we're going to open this up. It says to Kristen from Victoria. Oh, yes. I forget what these are, what these little fupa balls is called. <laughs> fupa ball. What this little ball is called, but I'm about to use one because I don't have one. We gonna be using that. Oh yes, their shower gel smells so good. If you haven't tried this y'all, you gotta get the shower gel. It smells bomb. Ooh. And then this is the the Righteous Butter Moisturizing Shea Butter. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that feels good. Smells good. Oh my goodness, I feel like it's my birthday for real. My birthday was June 28th for those of you who didn't know. And I feel like this is my birthday on repeat. This is so amazing. Girl. Thank you, thank you so much. You did not have to do this, first of all. It is so sweet that you did this, that you thought of me and you thought to send me this. So I just wanna say thank you. I'll put your Instagram down below if anybody wants to connect with her because she is so sweet and always gives me great ideas for my channel. Anytime I'm feeling frustrated with the channel or I don't know what to do next, she has been a great person to bounce ideas off of. It's helpful to talk to people who actually, you know, do watch the channel and are unbiased with the feedback that they're giving. And I'm telling you, oh my gosh, she has given me so many great ideas. Brown Eyes also loves to travel. And right now hasn't been able to travel with everything going on. It's gonna happen soon, but you know, I just pray that you get double the blessings for the way that you have blessed me today with this care package. So I can't wait to use this stuff. I think today I'm gonna use these first. <laughs> of course, right? And this is really, really amazing. So thank you all. Thank you everyone who sent me something. There's one more thing I wanna show that I received a few weeks back as well and I haven't shown it yet because I really didn't feel, I didn't know the perfect time, but let me really quickly get this last thing to show you guys, one second. There are two things I wanna show you that I almost forgot. One is a book, and I received this book. It was mailed to my PO box. I have not had a chance to read it yet, but I'm really excited to check it out. And this is a letter that came with it. It says, hi Kristen, I am a K-Star and I commend you on wanting to read more books. I love to read as well. I would love to add my new book that I wrote last year to your reading collection called The Things Women Endure. Going through my divorce, I learned so many things that I did wrong in my marriage by not loving myself first. I have a life coaching business called Creative Link Coaching that provides life strategies to women who are going through a divorce or that are divorced by coaching and mentoring. 
empowering women to rebuild and restore their lives that take them from surviving to thriving after divorce. Our services include personal development, resources for divorce, goal setting, emotional support, and money management. We will help you build confidence we will help you build confidence and gain the clarity you need to succeed in life while getting transformation results. They can go to our website or schedule a free 45 minute consultation. So I will put the information below for her, her services. And I did want to show the book. The book is absolutely beautiful, first of all. So this is really, really nice. It's called All Things Women Endure, Learning to Love Yourself. So I will be checking this out. I will keep you posted, you guys, on what my thoughts are. And then I have one more thing, okay? This is really the last thing, I promise. But this is from my Brassy Bra, my friends over at Brassy Bra. And it says, I wanted to send you a small care package to let you know that I've been thinking of you during this crazy year. I hope that you and your loved ones are all healthy and doing well. Thank you so much for supporting us. And I am so grateful for all, you've for all of your continued support. We have a new Brassy Bra coming in 2021. We can't wait for you to try it. Sending much love, Kat. Thank you so much, Kat. You are so sweet. They have sent me numerous care packages. There are some chocolates in here that I'll be, y'all know I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> and then this looks like another bath bomb, bath ball. Yes, lavender. Ooh, and this smells really good. Smells like lavender. And then, let's see what else is in here. Hopefully a re-up on my brassy bra, y'all, because you can never have too many. Okay, so here are the strips. This is like when you need a little extra support on the sides, okay? And then, let me see what we got. You know, you know. Okay, so we got some brassy bras. You can never have too many of these, y'all. I'm telling you, they come in handy. This would have actually probably been perfect for this shirt I have on today. <laughs> okay. All right, we got some more. These are a little bigger. Okay. That means I can share. And then the nipple covers, because I like to use the nipple covers with these. Makes it so easy to take them off when you're done. And then this is the C to D chocolate. So she got me right with a whole bunch of different things. There's also some more, some more. So I got two boxes of these, a whole bunch of extra ones, some strips for the sides. We got the petals for the nipple covers. And then she gave me this. Thank you so much, Kat, for sending this to me. This was really sweet of you, so I will add this to my little bra section of my closet so that I, I know exactly where they are when I need them. But I really appreciate you guys for always taking care of me. And I'll be sure to tag you when I wear these because I feel like it's nice to see these things in use, you guys. Like, like I said, you can never have too many of these, especially when you're trying to wear a shirt and you don't want your bra to show. Brassy bra got you. So this is just so amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness. I have no clue how long this video is right now, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and close it because I have this feeling it's so long and I don't wanna hit y'all with too, too long of a video. But thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. You are the real MVP. Check everybody out who I have talked about here with all these items. Please check them out. Please give them a chance and try them out because these are small businesses, small entrepreneurs, and we just want to show some love. We want to sh support each other. So if there's any other you know, entrepreneurs out there and you want me to try your products in my vlogs, don't, don't feel weird. You can reach out to me and I don't charge for small businesses. Now, large companies like, like a Fashion Nova, there's a, a fee or expense for that. But um, my small business owners, y'all, I, I don't charge for being shown in my videos. I just, the product to me is enough because I know it costs money to start a small business and you're taking a huge risk and sending me free stuff. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know if anybody's gonna buy. So I just personally don't feel comfortable accepting money from small business owners. Um, but that's just my perspective. So that's where I am. So if you ever wanna send me something, don't hesitate. Now, if you a large business and you real big and booming, you know, we, we gon' it's a little different, but if you're a small business, you're getting started, trying to 
get your feet off the ground and you want to send me something don't hesitate like again I don't charge for stuff like that so with that being said thank you guys again for watching all the way to the end oh my outfit is from misguided let me show you real quick before we leave y'all this is so cute it's a one piece I put one of my bras on from the recent haul I just did this past week it's like the lace one so it actually looks pretty bomb underneath and this is kind of giving me Lydia Elise. I love Lydia's style. So I want to be like the black Lydia Elise eventually. Like she just gives me living my best life. <laughs> and she just looks so classy doing it. So that's my end goal. One day I'm going to get there. <laughs> One day y'all. So this is kind of the vibe. If you want the link for this, I'll put the link in the, in the description box. Because a lot of times I get clothing questions. And I just want to make sure y'all know where to find it. But. I'm rambling, so thank you again. I love y'all. I will see you in my next upload. Last thing I want to tell you, I am starting Mentorship Mondays back up, so stay tuned for that. I'm actually about to record the video, the first video in that series. I'm so excited. I hope you are too. It's going to be fire. We're going to have so much fun, and if you want to send me any topic ideas or situations that have happened to you, totally will be anonymous in the video. You can send it to me at contactkristinalexis at gmail.com, and we will talk about it. So I am so geeked. I already have 10 videos written out. These are 10 really strong videos. Some of them I've done before, but it's time for an update. So we are going to do the update. We're going to have some fun with it. And I am just so excited. And some of them will probably be just sitting and talking. But I think I'm going to also do like mukbang and get ready with me. And we're just going to have conversation, get comfortable, and try to take ourselves to the next level. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the vlogs every single week. And we're going to keep this thing rolling. And the cooking videos, like I said, is coming back. So Kristen eats. We about to come with it, y'all. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. I wrote the vision, made it plain. So now it's time to execute. So with that, I'll see you next time. And have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.